I think now I'm handing over to you just to explain how Skype for Business works. Sure. So we did a fair bit of testing with uh, Skype for Business um, as a recording option. And uh, we found that it's only the, the recording feature is only ve- available on a PC. So, for example, you can launch the application from a Windows computer and call someone and you can actually record the call, uh, whether it be video or audio only. The downsides are that you can't uh, really record the call if you are calling someone on a mobile or a landline, for example. And uh, we also found it fairly difficult to use Skype for business, which is what we have access to at RMIT, to call someone on what you would call, you know, regular Skype, you know, the the consumer version of Skype, which is not Skype for business. Uh, I tried to sort of um, call myself. I've got a couple of personal Skype accounts, but it's a long process. And uh, I started the process yesterday and uh, still haven't had any success with it. So just be mindful of that. So personally, I would recommend what Jen was just talking about using Teams to uh, to a make contact with whoever you want to interview uh, and do the recording that way because the the invitees don't necessarily need to be on Teams. Um, whereas with Skype, you would have to call someone who's got a Skype account. That is, if you can connect with them in the first place. Yeah. So again. I'd recommend Teams uh, because of the limitations with Skype. Thanks, Jen.